Bobby. Well, with this weather, I guess just in Florida in general, we yeah. like our time out on uh, the water. Uh, what officials don't like, though, is when boating and alcohol mix out yeah. on the water. And we've seen the consequences of that uh, just over the years, and especially during this time of year, we do. The Coast Guard says boating accidents killed 636 people last year. More than 2,000 others were injured, most of them preventable. Mark Strassman has the story. So there is a, a boat, smaller boat, and it's getting close to the shore. Off Tampa Bay's coast, deputies chased down this fishing boat barreling towards swimmers. Its driver, later arrested for BUI, appeared passed out behind the wheel. How much have you had to drink? I have, I have no alcohol. I'm looking at an empty beer can. Drunk boating, the leading cause of fatal boating accidents. Roughly one in six deaths on the water blamed on boozing. It's our number one issue, DNR 165 gains on Emacola. Ryan Locke is a Georgia State game warden. He patrols Lake Lanier, the state's biggest playground for boaters. Locke hears the same lie over and over. I've only had a couple. Most of them are two to three times above the legal limit. How many drunk boaters a day do you typically catch? Our uh, officers usually arrest five to six, maybe even seven a day. Nationwide, several thousand boaters every year are arrested for BUI. Roughly one in five of them in Florida. On water anywhere, consequences can be catastrophic. Because I wake up and put a leg on every morning. Alex Audi was 13, idling on a jet ski in Kentucky when a 17-foot bass boat mowed her down. She hit me from the side going over 60 miles an hour. I flew off the jet ski and landed face down in the water, but the boat landed directly on top of my body when it went over the jet ski. The collision broke her neck shattered her face and both legs and lacerated her liver. She lost her right leg from the mid-calf down. The man who ran me over was nearly three times the legal limit. Did he ever apologize? He said on the stand that it's not my fault. She shouldn't have been sitting on the water and I didn't do anything wrong. Even when no drinking's involved. Oh man, this is not good. Most boating accidents, injuries and deaths are preventable. Come here. Okay. And now a social media stunt. <laughs> See ya. Challenging those on the water to jump off moving boats. Officials warn trying it could hurt or kill you. Other factors, excessive speed, inexperience, inattention. So many people, one bad decision away from catastrophe. I have yet to respond to a drowning or fatality where that subject was wearing a life jacket. Not wearing a life jacket is like not wearing a seatbelt. They're both built to increase your chance of survival. You don't have to be reminded of something that you can never and will never forget. Alex Audie went on to become the national president of Mothers Against Drunk Driving. She still jet skis. And Sammy Hackler, the drunk boater who hit Audie, was fined $250 in 2010 for the collision. No jail time. On the water, there needs to be a, a, a cultural shift. You would never watch someone get in their car impaired with a beer in their hand and drive away. But people watch people do the same thing all the time in a boat.